Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free-to-use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. In our previous lesson, we looked at how to calculate how much of a solution we should give to a patient if they were prescribed a drug and we knew the stock dose of that drug in a solution using the following formula. Prescribed dose divided by the stock dose multiplied by the volume of the solution the stock dose is in. Well, what if you're trying to work out how much of the drug you should administer if you aren't given a stock dose, but you're given a drug concentration, which is fairly common in today's nursing practice. So a drug concentration is telling you how many grams there are in 100 milliliters of solution. Therefore, a 10% concentration means that there are 10 grams of that drug in 100 milliliters of solution. A 5% concentration means that there are 5 grams of that drug in 100 milliliters of solution. And a 3% concentration means that there are 3 grams of that drug in 100 milliliters of solution. And it works in much the same way as our stock dose calculation. So let's look at an example. A patient is prescribed 3 grams of a drug in a 10% concentration. How much of the solution should the patient be given? So we have 10% concentrate, which is equivalent to 10 grams in 100 milliliters of solution. Therefore, if we plug these numbers into our existing formula and replace stock dose with a concentrate dose, we get 3 grams prescribed drug divided by 10 grams of concentrate multiplied by 100 milliliters of solution. Therefore, 3 divided by 10 gives us 0 0.3. We then multiply that by the volume of the concentrate solution, which is 100 milliliters. So 0.3 times 100 gives us 30 milliliters of solution. Let's do another example. A patient is prescribed 3 grams of a drug that is available in 5% concentration. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Our first thought should be, well, we know that 5% concentration is equivalent to 5 grams in a 100 milliliter of solution. So if we crunch the numbers in our formula, prescribed dosage of 3 grams divided by 5 grams of concentrate gives us 0 0.6. 0 0.6 multiplied by the volume of the concentrate solution, which is 100 milliliters, gives us 60 milliliters of solution. OK, let's do one more, but this time we're going to consider how different metric units might affect our calculations. A patient is prescribed 250 milligrams of a drug in a 0.5% concentration. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Now, looking at the question, we now understand that 5% drug concentration is equivalent to 5 grams of the drug in 100 milliliters of solution. OK, thinking back to the last lesson on converting metrics, we need to apply the same rules here to get the prescribed and the concentrate dose in either grams or milligrams, or in other words, to get them in the same metric units. So let's make them both into milligrams. Therefore, we need to multiply the 0 0.5 grams of concentrate by a factor of 1000 to give us the measurement in milligrams. So let's do that. 0 0.5 grams multiplied by 1000 gives us 500 milligrams. So now we can work out our calculation. 250 milligrams prescribed dosage divided by 500 milligrams of concentrate gives us 0 0.5. 0 0.5 multiplied by the solution that the concentrate comes in, which is 100 milliliters, gives us 50 milliliters of solution. OK, it's your turn, but this time think really carefully about converting the metrics. A patient is prescribed 4,000 micrograms of a drug in a 0.2% concentration. How much of the solution should the patient be given? You can pause the video and press play when you're ready to reveal the answer. Let's think about our first procedure. We know, looking at the question, that 0.2% concentrate is equivalent to 0.2 grams of the drug in 100 milliliters of solution. Now we need to do metric conversions. 
to ensure that both our prescribed dose and our concentrate dose are in the same metric units. OK, let's break this down into steps. Step one. Well, let's convert our 0 0.2 grams into micrograms. So multiply 0 0.2 by a factor of 1000 to give us 200 milligrams. Step two. Multiply 200 milligrams by 1,000 to give us 200,000 micrograms. Now we've done the conversion, let's input the figures into our formula. 4,000 micrograms divided by 200,000 micrograms gives us 0 0.02. 0 0.02 multiplied by the volume of the solution, which is 100 milliliters, gives us an answer of two milliliters of solution. Okay, if you're feeling confident, complete the drugs concentration test on NurseNet Numeracy. Remember, you can find lots more maths help at www.nursenet.uk or if you're looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board.